What's up, everyone? It is I, the Comic Outlaw, coming to you from my own little slice of heaven, here, there, and everywhere, if you know what I'm saying. Traveling multiverse is a hard business. Hard, hard business. And you can't keep a good villain down, so uh, speaking of villains, it's been a while since we did a little toy run. We opened a little something something on the show, you know how we do. And I was thinking, why not kick it off with something a little bit different? Something a little bit strange. Maybe something bizarre. Like me and Bizarro, maybe. <laughs> Look at this right here. DC Multiverse. Bizarro. Hell yeah. This toy, I'm um, so happy when I found it. Uh, Bizarro got his start in a Superboy 19, number 68, I think in 1958. <laughs> uh, and since then, he's hit all kinds of different media. Uh, Justice League, Super Friends, he was a feature on that, the Legion of Doom version. Over the years, he's kind of had his own following. He seems to follow Superman wherever TV show or in one iteration or another, you know, Bizarro seems to pop up. And this is the classic Bizarro right here. Comes with the whole package. And uh, without further ado... Maybe we should open this brood up, huh? <laughs> now, um, I got to know Bizarro personally at first when I was a kid and I used to watch the Super Friends. I remember one episode in particular where uh, Superman and Bizarro, they go to this uh, Bizarro world and uh, they get trapped in a mine full of kryptonite, green kryptonite, which gives Bizarro power. Bizarro has um, Superman's powers opposite. He has fire breath. He has ice beams. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then uh, Superman basically just put the kryptonite under his cape and it turned to colors. Um, we did a Superman episode where I touched on that one. And uh, since we're, you know, thinking about Superman, I thought we'd open this little sucker up. Uh, they really do a good job keeping these toys in. All right, let's see if I can pull it out with all the little stuff falling out. This is always the hard part. All right, we got it. Man, this sucker's taped in. All right, here we go. Ugh. <laughs> he comes with a pseudo, I guess, Clark Kent outfit, you could say. Um, another bizarre episode. I liked him in the Justice League cartoons. He was cool. Uh, well, actually, the Superman, the anime series. And then later on, he was in the uh, uh, Superman the Animated Series. It was cool. They kind of gave him his own weird little planet to be on uh, with a weird looking dog. And he was saving rocks. And it was just, oh, this is classic Super Friends. Okay, for you kids that don't know, um, back in the day, they had Super Friend toys and they had capes just like this with this little ring. And what it does is it attaches like that. See that? Cloth cape. Very cool. Get a good look at Bizarro there. Me and Bizarro. Me and no likey toy. Me and backwards. Backwards. Good. Bizarro. Bad. <laughs> uh, um, it's very cool. Um, I like the I like the attention to detail. Check that out. And uh, like I said, good old Bizarro here. He comes with a few accessories. There's that classic uh, symbol that he wears, the Bizarro number one. Actually, I think there's a picture of him in uh, Frankenstein. He has a big smile on his face. And, of course, the Clark Kent look. The tie, the glasses. And, as you guys know, this stuff has a tendency to fly everywhere, so I'm trying to be careful with it. It's a... Check out the glasses. See how they look. Which I'm probably not going to put these on because these little things have a habit of falling off. But it, all, all in all, it's really cool. This is probably the setup that I'm going to be using right here. I just love the classic sign, classic cape. I mean, 
This is just good old Bizarro right here. Boom. boom. <laughs> Classic Bizarro. Uh, this toy was worth it. It's a great one from the DC Multiverse. Highly recommend it. It's great in the set. I mean, it is fully posable. And I'm very happy that I got it. And of course, Bizarro is one of those characters that is just basically came through for Superman over the years. They say Superman doesn't have a lot of villains. Well, Bizarro is sort of a good guy, a bad guy, an anti-hero. He did some time with the um, the Outlaws, Red Hood, and uh, I think Athena. I don't remember her name. They were like the Dark Trinity. It was wonderful. Uh, Bizarro became smart for a bit. Uh, they, he's had so many different story arcs away from Superman and including Superman. And it was during that wacky time, too. And it, he's just one of those fun characters, you know. He can be fun, he can be serious, he can be dark. Um, Bizarro's uh, many different things, but as always, he's one of them lovable, bizarre versions of Superman. And this is the man with the master plan, the comic outlaw, giving you another toy review. Bizarro. Hell yeah. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.